All right, so I've got the uh, uh, the microcode machine here, and I put it on the bus, and I have um, uh, some LEDs mounted so I can see the uh, opcode, uh, the instruction that's being loaded in. So let's see if we can load it in. I have the uh, write enable uh, over here, so I can assert a uh, value on the uh, on the bus, let me uh, let me uh, turn down the uh, intensity so you can see the LEDs. Okay, hopefully you can see the uh, see the LEDs better. There we go. So I'll clock the uh, pulse to the uh, D flip flop, and there we go. So it transferred it transferred it into the uh, register. So at least that part of this the circuit works. The register works. Um, I have the uh, EEPROM in there, but it's blank. Um, so I guess the next thing to do would be to uh, check the counter out, see if we can cycle through some memory, and see if we can get the segments to toggle here. I guess the next more difficult thing to do is to try to figure out how I want to be programming the, um, the EEPROM. Um, not quite sure how to do that. I thought maybe I would just, uh, try to fake it with some Arduino code or something and just copy it that way. Um, yeah, I don't know. Hmm. I think that's what uh, uh, Ben Eater was doing. He was using some uh, Arduino code and then uh, programming this directly from an Arduino. I, I expect to generate an actual hex file or some other way to do it and then program it with the EEPROM programmer. So. I've got to work that through, but anyway, uh, we've make, made progress with this card, and uh, it seems to be working. So, you remember I said uh, halfway through the project I decided to reverse the order of uh, my data bus? Um, well, guess what? <laughs> Forgot about the program counter. Um, like I said, the RAM really didn't matter, the uh, registers didn't really matter, but mm, program counter does matter, so there's another board that I need to uh, flop all the bits on. Um, I'm kind of thinking maybe I should just flop all the bits on everything and come clean. Um, maybe it's time to do a complete new set, but I think uh, I'm not going to do that until I uh, get the uh, state machine working. Um, I'm beginning to think that the way that the program counter uh, is designed is incorrect. Um, it's, an, it's, a, it's a synchronous counter, which means um, to load an address, you have to put an address uh, to, to load a new count. You put the count and then you assert a line and then you have to wait for a clock. And I'm not sure that my um, my microcode machine can execute something like that. So uh, I'm going to definitely wait to relay this one out until I get the state machine up and running. So I think there's still a lot of uh, devil in the details. Um, but um, anyway, I found one more one more item that's uh, not working well. Let's speed up the clock. Ooh, ooh, there we go. Make it count, make it count faster. Well, this is what I decided to use as a uh, environment to program the microcode. Um, it's a uh, program called ASM80. If you haven't run across it before, you can go to www.asm80.com. And it's a mm, compiler for old 8-bit um, devices, uh, including 8080 and some other things. So um, it does generate regular Intel hex code, which is what I need for my um, PROM programmer. So, um, and I'm not really using any language. Um, I'm just going to be using uh, data byte um, uh, definitions. So you can see here, I hope you can read this. Uh, hopefully the screen capture is good enough, but I um, didn't know how to change the uh, uh, font size on this. Let me take a quick look. No, I don't know how to change the font size. So anyway, um, the lower nibble of the instruction code is the from device, four bits, and the upper four bits is the um, uh, to device. So I'm going to define a bunch of uh, equates. Um, so like from RAM is 00, uh, from register A is 07, 
And then there's a bunch of twos, which are like the high nibble, right? So two register A is a seven zero instead of a zero seven. So um, the way that you put numbers in a hex file is just to say data byte and then just give the number. So the first are just kind of test things here, zero through F and zero through F. But this is how it will be used, this uh, last line here. So you would say from program counter, say, so fro, from program counter plus to RAM address. So the plus is an OR and it puts those two together. So basically it will execute the instruction then. It will uh, assert the from, uh, it will assert um, the from line on the, or the um, read line. It'll assert the read program counter line in hardware. And then it will assert the, um, right RAM address line. And um, so this would move the contents of the program counter to the RAM address. And then the next thing here would take that uh, value in RAM and move it to the instruction register. So we should be able to build microcode up this way easy enough. And um, then I just print test here. This is a test. So just to make sure the hex, hex uh, thing is working. So you just say uh, file or I mean a uh, system uh, compile and set so it compiled to uh, test.hex. And now we have a hex file that we should be able to program into our device um, that has all of this in there. Um, so let's close the, or low, let me lower this. Let me look at uh, this file here that works. Yeah, there we go. So this is the listing file from that um, um, assembly. So you can see that this is, these are all equates. So this is actually what's being put uh, into, uh, that's being, um, that's being put into memory, that's being put into memory. Um, so you can see that's working. And then here, 2460. So, um, the two is the from PC and the four is the uh, to RAM or the other way around. Let's see, the, it goes from first. So the four is the from PC and the two is the RAM address. So, and then the six is the instruction and the zero is the RAM. So yeah, and then uh, puts in this as the test uh, that that is uh, ASCII for this is a test. Um, so let's look at the hex file. Where's my hex file? Let's see here. Here. So th this is what I need. So this is the hex file that will put all of those values into the uh, prom. So let's open the prom programmer. It always asks that question. Okay. Oh gosh, everything's going to be super small for you guys. Anyway, this is the prom programmer. I can't make it any bigger. Um, and um, it is an AT28C64. I can read the device that's in there. Uh, so it has some stuff. I'm going to open that hex file. Uh, hex file. Ah, there we go. So here's, this is the test, right? So zero through F, zero through F, then there's our two, four, six, zero. And then we can say program. Done. So that's the way I'm going to do it. Um, now this is inside a, uh, a chip and I can put that in and I'm going to use this uh, right away. I'm going to um, set the address to zero and then uh, the 
uh, next, the, the way that it's addressed, remember, that is a 12-bit addressing scheme. And the uh, upper eight bits are the instruction. The lower four bits are the microcode stepping. So if I step the microcode by um, clocking the counter, I should go through this line here. If I put zero as the um, um, the instruction, then every time I clock it, it'll increment one. So I'll be able to uh, watch it count from um, from one to f. Uh, oh, I should have had this line count from uh, one to f, but uh, in the upper nibble, uh, that would have been smarter a smarter thing to do. Um, anyway, uh, that's how I'm going to get things in and out, and that's how I'm going to write microcode, and uh, should be able to go off and try to test uh, test the hardware.